What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going through the Call of Duty tier list. And I thought what better time would it be as Modern Warfare 2 is going to be released in less than a month now. And we've got the betas and everything coming up. We've got an event which I'm super looking forward to and every everything's just going on. So why not rank all the previous Call of Duties in my opinion. Also, if you guys are new, feel free to like, share and subscribe. I would just like to quickly add that I know that I am missing a few Call of Duties, but don't worry, we do fix that later on in the video. So here we have all of the Call of Duties, everything from the very first one to the most recent one. Where the fuck is Vanguard? Am I blind? There's no Vanguard. But uh, let's start off with the first three Call of Duties. Never played, never played, never played. I've never, I never played these three because it was a little bit before my time. Uh, but I have been told that some of them are actually quite fun. They are good, but it was more for like in the moment sort of thing. So if you guys have played the first three Call of Duties, definitely let me know. So Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 was actually my very first Call of Duty that I played on the 360. This game was just... Ah, oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. I don't know if I'd put it quite God tier. No, yeah, no, it's God tier. It's God tier. It's God tier. I'm sorry. It, it is God tier. The, the maps were amazing. The campaign was amazing. Like, and you got to remember for the timing of it as well was just, it was incredible. It was so mind blowing. The guns were fantastic. The community was toxic as ever. You couldn't ask for much more for when it comes to Call of Duty. So I feel like that is a good enough reason to have call of duty 4 modern warfare at god tier now we have got some people's absolute favorite call of duty world at war the fifth one that came along the one that introduced zombies this game was mind-blowingly incredible and it has to oh there we go has to go into god tier just for that reason it was just incredible bringing in zombies was the best thing that they could have done i mean no one ever did anything like it and still to this day people buy a call of duty just for zombies campaign was amazing storytelling the guns the maps being able to use tanks flamethrowers ah, oh, it was incredible there is so much stuff from this call of duty that never came along like further on it was just like why why wouldn't they why wouldn't they introduce you know vehicles i mean it was in other games like battlefield but why do we never have like another game mode where you know a tank could just randomly spawn i that i will never understand but it is what it is but for that reason these two are on god tier and we're on a incredible start with how good the call of duty franchise truly was back then see now this is this is where things are going to be a little bit there like ooh what are we going to do now with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 if it's not in god tier I don't want to hear it now I know what some of you guys are thinking oh what Modern Warfare 2 you've put and Call of Duty Modern Warfare and and and, and, and World of War honestly these these Call of Duties to have such good Call of Duties back to back they deserve in my opinion to be on that level Modern Warfare 2 was like the beginning of Call of Duty esports at that high level. You like 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 things becoming big. Like this is where it all started from. Again, guns, campaign, everything was incredible. I don't think you can really say a bad word about playing Modern Warfare 2. That was probably, in my opinion, the peak of lobbies being so toxic. It's like, fuck get out of here. Get out of here. Fuck get out of here, man. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It was so much fun. I love. I absolutely loved being around at that time of playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And I'll be honest, if you guys didn't experience it, you guys definitely did miss out. But I'm hoping... With the new Modern Warfare 2 coming out, we're going to get some kind of experience of incredible maps, incredible guns. And even though, yeah, there was like a lot of toxicity, there was also an amazing community side to it. Black Ops 1. 
Now, some people might say, well, if you've put those three up in God tier, they should be in God tier. I think, in my personal opinion, I feel like it was actually an amazing game. And as you might be able to tell, I'm going to be a bit more biased in this video towards the Modern Warfare series because I just fell in love with the sort of modern day use of the guns and the maps and everything and the, like the feel of it so that's why i've got it there i'm not saying it's a bad game by any means it's still probably up there with some of the best call of duties ever to exist and while we're here as well we're going to put black ops 2 up there as well with black ops 2 i'm going to be honest i'm going to chuck it here as well i think it was just an amazing game it was just so good i preferred the zombies in that one but when it comes to like the campaign and the overall i don't think it quite reaches god tier for these two but again i do generally prefer the modern warfare series over the black ops series so next one infinite warfare trash advanced warfare trash black ops 4 i actually really enjoyed black ops 4 I don't think it was amazing. I just think it was good. I definitely have a lot of memories on Black Ops 4. There was definitely some things that probably could have been done better. Um, but I just I just generally think that it deserves to be... It, it was just good. It was good. I don't think it was bad. I wasn't happy that there was no campaign. But it was just good. It was good. I remember the comp scene being really good. But that, that was bad. It was, it was good. It was a good game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 not including warzone this was an amazing game if there was a warzone section it probably would have gone into god tier because of the peak during lockdown that that is the sole reason uh, i didn't play the campaign i actually just really enjoyed playing online i enjoyed using the guns and i feel like overall it was actually somewhat actually decent modern warfare 3 amazing it was just i loved it i absolutely loved it there was like a survival thing i remember um the again maps were incredible guns were really fun um i just loved it and the fact that it wrapped up the whole series of the modern warfare like the original it just felt good it just felt right you know it just felt right and i like i liked it i thought it was an amazing game call of duty world war 2 definitely could have been better definitely could have been better it's I don't know i didn't really enjoy the campaign didn't really enjoy the guns i feel like it definitely could have been better it definitely wasn't good i think i played it for about a month or two and then just went eh, i'm kind of done with it i was very i was very much done with that game after a couple months occasionally went back to it but a couple months i think i was done i think i was done the whole like world war ii thing like going back again to that sort of era of old school because i remember we had like sort of futuristic that was just trash it was awful and then they were like we're gonna go back to boots on the ground and it was like do we really need another world war game why not try and do something a little bit different but my opinion it, it could have been better they probably could have executed it a bit better i do remember i liked the loading menu though where everyone's like at, there at the beginning they had some cool stuff there but again overall could have been better black ops 3 I think it was good. I think it was good. Zombies was good because you used to be able to play like all the classic ones, but they're just bringing back like old school stuff. So I think it's definitely got to go down a couple ratings. I don't really remember the campaign that much. I don't remember. I, I think it was a little while ago. It, it, to me, it was just good. I don't remember, you know, having like the time of my life, but I would definitely say it, it, it was good. Um, Call of Duty Ghost was meh. Don't want to talk about it. Ghost was awful. Sorry guys, we've now got a more up to date on the tier list. So we now actually have Warzone, Cold War and Vanguard. So going back to Warzone, I just feel like that period, it you know, it deserves to be god tier. Like there's there's no debate Warzone during lockdown was by far the best thing ever. I loved it. Play, going on for dance, I mean pfft probably up there with top three moments of playing call of duty call of duty mobile i've never played so i can't really comment on it you know what cold war i think it was good i think it was good i actually really liked it and i might even borderline put it up into amazing 
because I actually really enjoyed the zombies. I didn't mind the campaign. I actually, you know what? No, I thought the campaign was really, really good. You know, being able to choose your ending and everything. And the, um, you know, the relationships with the characters was good. Multiplayer, that I thought that was incredible as well. So maybe, I mean, if you guys really dug deep into Cold War and didn't just play Warzone, you guys might understand why I've put it up into amazing... But I'm there going, do I really think it's up there with these four is the real question. I think if I could put, if I was going to put something in between, you know, in between good and amazing, I think it would be there. But I I, I, th I think we're going to stick with good. I think we're going to stick with good. And I think that's quite a safe bet. I actually ha spent a lot of time on Cold War, but I think it was... Yeah, I think it was good. I think it was good. I think everything. I think everything was just good. I, I don't really. I didn't. I don't really remember a lot of bad things about Vanguard. See, a lot of people might have a different opinion about this. In my opinion, I think it could have been better. And let me explain why. During the beta, I thought it was absolutely freaking awful. Uh, I played it around a friend's house when it first came out, so I wanted to know whether or not it was worth me actually buying. And I hated it. I absolutely hated playing Vanguard. But I played it a little bit more recently. Because apparently with uh, a lot of the updates. It's actually quite fun, you know. It's it's They've made the game so it's possible to actually play, if that makes sense. I feel like it was very unplayable during the beta. And it really threw me off. I feel like because, I feel like because it was so close to the release, I was a bit hesitant. And I'm quite... Happy that I didn't buy it. You know, I had a bit of a break from in between each Call of Duty. And that's why I'm really looking forward to actually playing the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 when it comes. But yeah, this is my list. Let me know what you guys think as well. Do you guys agree? Do you think this is where, with your experience of Call of Duty, this is where you would have listed a lot of them? I feel like it does go to show the more recent Call of Duties are not as good as they were up here. I mean, Warzone's a bit of an anonymity. A non a non a non It's a bit of its own thing. Give me trying to use big words. But it is good. It is good. It's just different. It's different from what the other Call of Duties offer. But yeah, it's it's a bit of a shame that we don't have really anything up here. I mean a lot of people might argue to put Black Ops 1 and 2 up there. But I feel like in my opinion, this is like this is the ultimate tier. I don't feel like you could argue with a single one of these not being in God tier. But, I don't know. You guys let me know what you would change. This is going to be the end of the video, so please let me know where you guys would rank these Call of Duties. Would you put anything up, put anything down, or do you completely agree? Which would be very unlikely. But either way, remember to like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.